Hi, coaches, parents, and everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. Welcome to MIST. I'm Coach Nikita, and this is lesson number three. Um, let's talk about tournaments. Should your athlete be playing in tournaments? The answer is yes. Why do we play tournaments? Uh, the main reason is feedback. We want to understand what we are doing wrong or inconsistent with in a match uh, and then write it down and go home and think about a plan how we can uh, work on it and go out in a class, private lesson, tell our coach and say this is what we did wrong uh, and this is what we need to work on and the coach hopefully listens to you guys and does what coaches do, help you and guide you along the way to you know, hopefully winning the next match. All right, so uh, when should you start playing tournaments? So for example, uh, is, it, is, it, is it orange ball? Are there orange ball tournaments? Uh, or should I, should I wait until yellow ball? Um, no, you should be playing red ball tournaments. So uh, there are red ball tournaments. I happened to host one recently. Um, and uh, it was fantastic. Kids love it. All right, they are, are modified rules. You can modify the rules, but we didn't modify the rules this time. And uh, it's important for them to do it early because what happened? What I see a lot, especially from the older kids that started doing tennis uh, late in their tennis career in their lives. Uh, and usually it's about 13, 14 years of age when they have grown the muscles but they haven't developed the understanding of winning matches and what they go and see on YouTube or maybe on TV or whatever is winners. They see winners, 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 winners and that's the only thing they see. They don't see anything else. They see fast serves and winners. So they come out and they play a match really uh, hitting that ball as hard as they can and what happens is they lose and they lose and they lose and they don't understand it and eventually what happens they quit because they understand the brain has started to understand that I can't play matches anymore now they, they might not quit tennis they might quit the facility or going to group lessons or something uh, the tennis will stay with them for their entire lives for sure um, but they certainly will not be you know uh, playing tennis matches anytime soon okay they're only going to be doing this for fun all right and and the reason that is is because in order to enjoy to truly enjoy tennis you need to understand one uh, you need to understand that uh, you need to get a certain basic level basic fundamental um, skill in any any type of sport now in tennis it, re it's, it means getting the ball over the net consistently every time and l kids that are older they haven't received that type of coaching yet so uh, what happens is they, they just hit really hard and they feel that they have to dominate because when they're teenagers they want to show off uh, and uh, they want to just you know when they hit a nice winner they're just like okay yeah did you see that I was awesome um, they're trying to get attention but emotions are getting in the way and eventually you know the kid loses the athlete decides you know this is, it's not good um, so we don't want that so you want to start early go with the red ball if you missed the red ball and you're in the orange right now okay start with the orange ball and they come out and they're gonna maybe lose every single match and they're gonna probably zero six that's okay you know they just just need to keep going it's gonna happen everyone's losing there's only one winner anyway all right so understand that have them go out playing matches and just explain to them before going that it's about feedback if they can understand it now young kids may not understand it so try to explain it a different way okay, just enjoy have fun all that all that all the good stuff all right maybe we'll have ice cream afterwards sounds good all right see you guys next time bye bye